these incubus and succubuses are still out here are gonna forever be out here these sexual demons y'all they are plowing around they are out here they are everywhere these sexual demons are coming for us they're they are coming for us and let me just say this if you think that um demons aren't real then you just not woke you're asleep you're blinded satan blinds the minds of the unbelievers and you just falling for anything that's a problem james 4 and 7 said resist the devil and he will flee from you wake up but people are not resisting the devil because they're living for him that's their father they're not going the devil is not going it's not going to leave a lot of people alone and, and let me just tell you this a lot of people in this world says you know they got they got it going on they got money coming in they got racks coming in they got so much money that they making on their their job or they only fans stripper porn stars drug dealers scamming and fraud so i'm just going to talk about this in this video um you know get my little input on this um mostly on these sexual demons what's up youtube it's your boy spiritual j coming back at you again with another video i pray everybody's doing well y'all staying safe out here so let's just jump right into this um these sexual demons are flying around and they're inside of people. That Jezebel spirit. Oh. Uh, just think about that. You got dudes that's falling for these succubus. Women falling for these incubus. Incubus are male sexual demons. Succubus are the females, the female demons. You know, a lot of us, I, I know myself, I had plenty of dreams of me uh, having an encounter with these sexual demons. These women, they, they and I had about four of them, about four of them. Uh, these women, they getting, they getting naked. And so one time I had a dream that um, I seen this very beautiful girl. Oh man, this girl was so beautiful, man. And but see, that's how Satan get people. I so the girl was so beautiful, like I actually and, and I seen her in a dream. And I, I I approached her, you know, started talking to her. And um we started going back to her house. And next thing you know, I op she opened the front door to walk in in the house. And I stand outside for a little bit, but then I walk in and she, and she starts just to just, she started looking funny. She had the same clothes on and everything. She had like a red shirt on with blue jeans and like black shoes. And, and I, I, I'm just looking at her like, yo, she don't look like the same girl that I seen. Why she look so different? Like she, and she turned around and looked at me. And let me tell y'all, she had the most evilest look on her face. She looked like a whole demon. And then she started to get naked. That was those sexual demons trying to attack me. And to make my point for that, for why, um, you know, because the dream do line up for what I'm talking about in this video. Um... We got to be careful who we, we find, who we, you know, we find attractive. And then you want to just approach that person, you know, start to lay down with that person. We got to be careful with that. Because you don't know who you laying down with. You don't know what type of spirits these people have. And then you wonder why it's so much soul ties. You wondering why soul ties are so strong. You seeing people in this life who who can't leave somebody alone. They know that that person is doing them wrong. They know that person is cheating on them, putting their hands on them, doing all this, and they're not married. They're just dating. They're just boyfriend or girlfriend. 
but they can't leave that person alone. Prime example, Krishan Rock and Blueface. Prime example right there. I don't know if y'all know who they are, but go look them up if you don't know who they are. Krishan Rock and Blueface. They putting they they fighting each other every day, putting their hands on each other. They they won't leave each other alone. They can't leave each other alone. Because they have soul ties. Now she might be pregnant by him. Oh gosh. But she can't leave him alone. She getting tattoos of him. Got a whole tattoo of him on her uh, throat. She got a tattoo. She got tattoos of him on her her arm. Her, I guess, on her whole body. And that's not even her husband. You see what I'm saying? They got soul ties. They cannot leave each other alone. But see, people think that this stuff is fake. They think that stuff like this is, oh, no, nah, man, that's not real. Soul ties not real. I'm going to go. You, you going around here and you having sex with these people and you catch soul ties. And now you got people committing suicide. You got you got dudes killing, killing females now. Because the, the girl don't want to be with him. And killing the new dude. Come on now, you got girls setting dudes up because the dude don't want to be with her. The dude broke her heart, so now she's setting dudes up. When you, that's why fornication is a sin. When you having sex with these people, you don't understand that you are transferring spirits. That's why fornication is a sin because you don't know. And if y'all believe that everybody here is children of, of, of the Most High, then you just not woke. If you think, if you think everybody here is children of God you know God created everybody and, and all this and stuff. no no he didn't no he didn't the devil is a lie no he didn't you you could disagree with me on that you could disagree that is that is completely fine with me disagree with me but let me just tell you this you may be talking to a demon you may be in love with a demon you may be texting the demon right now. You you probably land next to a demon. You probably had sex with a demon last night. These people, these demons look like us. And like I said, you you have to give a demon an invitation into your body. And a lot of them, and, and, and a lot of people here just came from the bloodline. The demonic bloodline. If you if you believe that. That the bloodline is is a real. The demonic bloodline, and you're wondering why you see these people killing babies and murdering people, and these going to big crowds, going to churches, and shooting churches up and stuff. You're wondering why. Come on now, that's not just a spirit. Stop believing that. That is not just a spirit. No. And you gotta understand something. These people, y'all. They need these these demons need a body, and you gotta give them an invitation to your body about what you do in, in your daily life. And what is that? Getting high. For all y'all who believe that, oh man, smoking weed ain't bad. God created weed. They love saying that God created weed. Ain't nothing wrong with weed. Yeah, yeah, God created, but He didn't create it for you to be getting high off of it. For you to be smoking your, yourself to death over it. He created that we these for for the doctors to use it in the hospitals. We is good for for the hospitals and stuff because they give it to you for certain stuff in the hospital. But you got people out here, you got Satan deceiving people's minds and telling them that, oh no, nah, ain't nothing wrong with weed, man. Keep smoking that weed, bro. Man, keep smoking that weed. Now you now you see why it, it's all these different strains of weed now. They lacing these th these weeds now and calling them different names. Wake up. Getting high. Getting drunk. Uh-oh. How many people is, is in a grave right now? From getting drunk. And having an accident and killing them and killing their selves and other people. How many? How many people love to go to the clubs and get drunk? Oh, and speaking of clubs, that's what majority of them are. Are that's 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 what majority of these sexual demons are in the clubs. 
you want to ride, you go there, you go in these clubs, and you see these people, especially a strip club. I ain't never been to a strip club, but the stuff that I be seeing online, I man, I've never, I would never in my life go to a strip club. Because, because first of all, if you're set apart and God brought you from darkness into the light, you shouldn't be in no strip club. You shouldn't be in no club, period. It's demonic. That's Satan's territory. I remember one time, um, I went to this club. Uh, this was 2021 of December of 2021. I went to the club, you know, just to celebrate with my brothers and sisters. And um, so we get there and it's some people there, you know, I go, I man, I go in that club and it's nothing but like these sexual demons in there, y'all. I'm seeing nothing but just sexual activity in this, in this club, bro. Like you got girls with girls. That's what majority of these dykes and studs are with their girlfriends in these clubs too. You got gay men walking around dancing on the dance floor. They they doing their little gay dance. Um, you got you got all these other people. Man, they the way that they dress, they dress so crazy. Basically, they they walking in there naked. They are basically walking in that club naked, cause all they had on was just a a little too tight dress on, no underwear, no bra, it's in the see through. Come on now. You can't tell me that's not a succubus. I got people. I know people who actually say that they are they are living succubus. Incubus. You you um and I go to the club. And as we leaving, we are chilling, having fun, and that we, we well I ain't gonna say having fun, but we are just talking in the parking lot, and. Next thing you know, my brother get it. My brother, he and sister get into it with this dude, and their friends get into it with this dude. But we left it alone. We were like, man, I told him, I'm like, look, I'm about to go. I'm about to just leave. My sister uh, left with me, and you know, the whole time we were standing out there for like an hour, ain't nothing happened. Soon as I left, soon as I left, I got a phone call from my uh, brother saying that some dudes just rolled, just pulled up on them, and and uh. They uh, put out guns on them and stuff and start threatening them, you know. See, for me, my mindset, I wouldn't have went for nothing like that, you know. So that's why, you know, the Most High, he got me out of there. That was the Most High who got me out of, out of that uh, that that uh, situation. He, you know, he basically something told me to just leave. Something told me to leave, and then I get the phone call that happened. That stuff is demonic, y'all. These clubs are demonic. And you got people out here who are faithfully in these clubs every week, and some of them every other day. They are in a club. They act like they have to be in a club because they're living in darkness, and they don't want to be in the light. They don't want to know the truth. They don't want to. Why? Because they're demons. Some people, it's, it's a thing called a reprobated mind. They have reprobated minds. They don't want to hear the truth. They want to keep doing what they want to do. So if you reject God, God is going to reject you. And let you let you have your little fun. Let you do you. Let you have your little fun. You want to keep doing all that wickedness and, and stuff. Going to these places. Smoking your weed. Getting drunk. And don't care about what nobody got, what nobody got to say to you. Okay. Don't be surprised when something happened to you. Don't be surprised. Then when something happened to them, they calling for God. Lord, please, Father, Lord, Father, please, Father, get me out of this situation, Father. Up, oh, and then He He get you out of it, and then you go right back to the situation. How foolish is that? How foolish are these people? First Peter five and eight: Be sober and vigilant, for your adversary, the devil, is, is walking to and fro like a roaring lion, seeking whom he whom he may devour. Y'all. We got to understand something. This devil is waiting for you to get drunk like that. The devil is waiting for you to get high out of your mind. He's waiting for you to do that. Because when you get drunk, and you wonder why these, these you, you see these people getting so drunk. These girls get so drunk and they start kissing other girls. 
these dudes get so drunk, they they mess with other dudes or they you know they they going out there having sex with a female and getting them pregnant and stuff. Yo, these sexual demons are real and they jump inside the people, especially when you get drunk. They jump inside of you and you don't know what you're doing now. But these people are asleep to this. They sleep to it or they just don't care because they please in the flesh. What does the Bible say about the flesh? Galatians 6 and 8. It, sow into the flesh, you're going to reap destruction. But sow to the spirit, you're going to reap eternal life. How many people in this world sow into the flesh right now? I, I mean, how many people do you know that's sowing to the flesh? Yo, these, when you look at these strippers and these OnlyFans people, they are sowing to their flesh. And it's male and female who's doing all this stuff. Not just females. No. It's not just females. It's male and female. That's what they're doing. They're sowing to the flesh. They getting naked. They they showing their body for some money. You got dudes that's having their females um, doing content with them on camera. And they getting paid for it. You famous off of sex. How you get famous off of sex? Come on now. When the Bible says that your nakedness is for a married couple, your nakedness is for your married partner. The man's body belongs to his wife. The woman's body belongs to her husband. Not y'all bodies belong to the world, belong to the to the camera. To make content, to make to make money off of sex. That is not what the most high said in his word. If, and, and if he said that, show me. Show me the scripture. I'll be waiting all, all year for it. If you can show me where it says it's all right to make content, it's all right to show your body to the world like that. Show me scripture since everybody wants scripture for everything. Show me scripture now. I, I'm asking you for scripture. Show me one. I'll I'll wait. And it's so sad. It's so pitiful and pathetic that these people actually think that they're doing something in this life because they're showing their body. These people, and you wonder, listen, oh man, I was just talking about this the other day. Back to these soul ties. You got you got women out here who are stooping so low. Now, ladies, I'm not talking, I'm not talking bad about you because everybody's doing it. But I'm seeing majority of women that's doing this because it's always the woman. That's getting played on. They're always the ones that's getting played on. The dude is playing them. And guess what? The woman is staying with them. The woman is staying with that bum. She she can't leave him alone because of soul ties. You women, what you don't realize is that you're you're messing with an incubus. You're in love with an incubus. You're in love with a male demon. A male sexual demon. You just got yourself hooked to. And you wonder why you see women that's, they would do anything to keep that man now. Especially when they got these demons that's attached to them. You, she has sex with that man. Now that demon is attached to her. Now she would, if her man wants, wants to add another female to the bedroom, she's fine with it. Something that she never thought in her life that, that uh, she would do. And now she stooped that low to, to do that with that man. Be in the bedroom with, um, with that man and with another woman. Yo, this stuff is going on. This stuff is happening on a daily basis. Wake up. Wake up. This stuff is happening more and more and more. And it's going to keep happening. Why? Because people are asleep. And they, they, and they have kids and they're training their kids up to be just like them. And they're going to think that it's okay for their child to be just like them. Because they're messed up. Once again, Satan blinds the minds of the unbelievers. A lot of people don't, don't believe in God. A lot of people don't believe in Satan. They don't believe in this that this stuff is real. They don't believe it. They don't. They're just walking around, living their best life, shaking their butt. You, dudes out here sticking their thing in any female, and then and then they catching the STD, chlamydia, 
herpes, gonorrhea, a single mother. Uh oh. Oh gosh. I hope I ain't make somebody mad about that one. Because it's more it's more and more and more single moms in this world. And I'm I'm tired of hearing them complaining, um, going online and saying something about a man. He a bum, he broke, he 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 dirty, his he he can't buy him a pair of drawers or a pair of socks. But where was all those comments at when you was laying down with him? You wasn't saying any of that stuff about that man until you had a kid by him and he, he did you wrong. Now, all of a sudden, he's all this stuff. Before you met him, he had no job. Driving his mama car, wearing his uh, brother's clothes, his brother's jewelry, asking money for from his brother or from a family member, asking his grandma for some money and going out, going out to the club and stuff and met you in there. Think about that. Now a dude's want to call a girl out her name because he got her pregnant. He calling her an itch. She a she a she a bum itch. She uh she got fake hair or, or stuff. She a hoe and all this stuff. But you weren't calling her any of that when you was laying down with her and sticking your thing in her. You wasn't calling her. She wasn't none of that stuff. Oh, she was bad though before you had sex with her. Oh oh, she bad man. What's up with that? Come on now. This world is so messed up. This world is demonic. And it's getting worse and worse and worse as the days go by. It's only going to get worse because people are blinded to these sexual demons. Stop looking at it. Stop looking at an attractive face. And you want to lay down with that person. Fellas. Stop stop saying that she bad and then and then you going to sticking your thing in her. Now you done got her pregnant and stuff and not, and not knowing that you having sex with a sexual demon. That's a demon that, that you are trying to have sex with. Not all of them, but majority of them, just pay attention to their lifestyle. Their lifestyle tells it all. What makes it so cute and funny for somebody to get a fake butt? fake boobs and stuff those are majority of the sexual demons too getting these fake butts and stuff man fake lips and fake everything fake life everything and these dudes is flopping to it these dudes are loving it oh she bad man look at that joint that joint fat that joint man man that joint plastic that's plastic man that's not real I don't want nothing plastic. That, don't none of that get me get me aroused. None of that plastic stuff. I need mine real. I need me a real woman, a godly woman. I don't need no 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 succubus. They out here. But y'all, and that's how Satan gets you. Satan get people like that. You can't see the signs. To these people because you too busy lusting after them just like in these music videos they showing signs in these videos but you can't see it because you lusting after that artist these girls are giving you signs fellas but you lusting after her and you can't see the signs ladies these dudes are giving you signs you got to do your homework on these dudes. They're giving you the signs, but you lusting after them because why? He a dreadhead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He dark skin. He got a beard. He's 6'5". He got muscles. He making, he making a lot of money. It ain't just the dudes who drug dealers and scamming and stuff that's, uh... That's making a lot of money. No, it's a lot. It's, it's dudes out here who got their own businesses. It's dudes out here who, who you know, they athletes. Uh oh, athletes and rappers and stuff and and uh uh have have good paying jobs. And they incubus too. They male demons. They sexual demons too. 
It don't matter what type of job you have. You could be a sexual demon anywhere. It, it, you, you, you can see him anywhere. But you sleep to it. You blinded to it. Because you lusting after these people. Do your homework on them. Stop trying to get out that mindset that you need a dude or you need a woman who making six figures. She got to have her own money. He got to make his, he, he gotta be making seven figures, eight figures and stuff. I'm, I'm only saying this to help y'all females because, and this coming from a dude. I'm only saying this to help you because it's too many of y'all who going online and saying niggas ain't this, niggas ain't that. Stop saying that stuff because it's your fault why you, why you uh, feel like that. It's your fault why you feeling that way. Because you don't do your homework on these dudes. It's so many signs right there. Pay attention to the signs. They're giving you the signs. They are. They're giving you the signs. And you falling for it. You falling for the traps. You falling for the traps. Wake up. These demons are out here. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. You can't kill a demon. And I'm talking about the spirit. No, you, you cannot kill a demonic spirit. You can torment a spirit. What's that scripture? Fear not the one who can harm the body. Fear, fear, not, fear not the one who can harm the body and not the soul. But fear the one who can harm the body and the soul in hell. That's the most high. He can harm. He can harm the the uh, flesh, and the soul. Think about that. These these spirits can get tormented. Your soul can be in torment, but you can't kill it. You can't kill a soul. You can't kill a spirit. You can't. Two different things. You can't kill neither one of them. So, y'all, I said that everything I had to say in this video, um, I pray somebody come across it and wake up and stop falling for the trap that these people are, are, are setting up, that Satan is setting up these traps for people, and he's getting so many people, these booby traps, he's getting so many people, because y'all not woke to this stuff. These, these demons are out here. These demons are out here. And they're out to get you. They don't have no heart. They don't got no no feelings. They don't have no no sympathy for you or empathy. They don't have none of that for you. They're out to get you and destroy you. What it say? He he's out to kill, steal, and destroy. He don't care about your feelings. He wants to destroy you. And he got his little minions that's helping him. They are walking around here, y'all. They out here. Pay attention. Don't fall for the trap. Stop falling for the trap. There's too many of y'all that's falling for it. Be careful with these soul ties. Because I know a lot of people right now who are who who got soul ties with somebody and they can't get rid of them. And they wondering why they keep crying every day. And then when you try to help them, they don't want to listen to you. Get away from them. Let them let them destroy themselves. They don't want no help. Leave them alone. I feel like somebody need, need to hear that one. Somebody needs, needs to hear this. Leave that person alone. Stop trying to help them. If they don't want to listen to you, keep going. Keep moving. Stop trying to help them. Because if somebody don't want to help themselves, if 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 the if the most high if, if the most high can even help them because they don't they don't they won't allow him to help them. Why are you trying to help them? You're not more powerful than the most high. You're not more powerful than the most high. So stop trying to be. Neither one of us are. Not even Satan is. He answers to the most high. We all gotta answer to the most high. But what what is he gonna say to you on judgment day? Think about that. <laughs>